Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can share a workbook to allow multiple users on a network to access the workbook and make changes simultaneously. All you need to do is to create the workbook, set it to be a shared workbook, and then save it to a shared network folder that the other editing users can access. There are, however, a few pointers that you should be aware of before you share a workbook. After sharing a workbook, you will not be able to insert or change any of the following objects or settings until you have stopped sharing the workbook. These include merged cells, conditional formatting, data validation, charts, pictures, objects, drawing objects, hyperlinks, scenarios, outlines, subtotals, data tables, pivot table reports, workbook and worksheet protection, and macros. Therefore, insert or apply these things prior to sharing the workbook if needed. Also, all users who will be editing the workbook must have Excel 97 or later to be able to make changes. To share a workbook, first open the workbook that you want to share. Then click the Share Workbook button that appears in the Changes button group on the Review tab within the ribbon to launch the Share Workbook dialog box. In this dialog box, click the Editing tab and then check the Allow Changes by More Than One User at the Same Time. This also allows Workbook Merging checkbox. Next, click the Advanced tab to set additional sharing options. In the Track Changes section, you can select the Option button for Keep Change History for and then type a number in days to track any changes to the workbook. If you don't want to track changes, then select the Don't Keep Change History option. In the Update Changes section, you can select the When File is Saved option button to update the workbook's changes every time it is saved. You could also select the Automatically Every option button and then enter a number in minutes that it should save the changes automatically. If you select this option, you can also specify to save my changes and see others' changes, or just see other users' changes by clicking either option button. Sometimes, when two users edit the same cell at the same time, a conflict will arise when Excel goes to save the workbook. In the Conflicting Changes Between Users section, you can set how to resolve those conflicts. You can select either the option button for Ask Me Which Changes Win or The Changes Being Saved Win. In the Include and Personal View section, you can include what to include within your custom view of the shared workbook. By default, the view includes any filter or print settings you make, or you can use the original printer and filter settings. In the future, when you open the shared workbook, it will display using the settings of your custom view, so that each user can have their own view of the data. You can check or uncheck the Print Settings and Filter Settings checkboxes to include those in the default view. When you finish specifying Share options, click OK in the Share Workbook dialog box. If you've already saved the workbook, a message box will appear telling you that you need to resave the workbook. Click OK to continue. Then select the shared network location to which you want to save the shared workbook. Now once you've done this, the other users may then go and edit and review the shared workbook. When two users try to save changes that affect the same cell, note that Excel will display the Resolve Conflicts dialog box for one of the two users. In this dialog box, you'll be able to read information about each change and the conflicting change made by others. To keep your changes and move to the next conflicting change, 
then click the Accept Mine button. To accept the other user's changes, click Accept Others. You can also click Accept All Mine or Accept All Others to accept all of your changes over the other users or to accept all of the other users' changes over yours. Also note that this will only occur if you selected to Ask Me Which Changes When in the Conflicting Changes Between Users section of the Share Workbooks dialog box. Now when you want to stop sharing a shared workbook, make sure that all the other users have saved and closed their copies of the shared workbook first. Once again, click the Share Workbook button in the Changes button group on the Review tab in the ribbon to launch the Share Workbook dialog box. On the Editing tab, uncheck the Allow Changes by More Than One User at the Same Time. This also allows Workbook Merging checkbox. Then click the OK button. At that point it will tell you that the action will remove the workbook from shared use and erase the change history. To remove the workbook from shared use, click the Yes button. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.